the AOI Aimers Plus Benchmark Routine. Develop core tracking skills that will help you dominate in game. Let's begin. Fast strafes. Improve your brain's ability to accurately react to chaotic and unpredictable movements. Great for Apex when engaging in hip fire tracking, as well as the light class on the finals. Any SMG characters or classes will find this really useful, but this can still be used by Soldier and Zarya as well. I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 stars due to its necessity in most games. Narrow. An extremely niche reactivity scenario, probably only train this if you play Apex Legends. It translates one to one for tracking enemies during their jumps and crouches in those clutch moments while aiming down sight. This gets a 3 out of 5. It would score higher, but it can't be utilized in most games. Air. Reactivity taken to the extreme. You're tracking a target that can move in all directions. Once again, perfect for Apex with those crazy movement moments. Tracer also benefits as you get better at tracking tanks like D.Va, Doom, and Ball. The smaller bots are perfect for Soldier 76. Tracking Pharahs becomes second nature and you'll be automatically reacting to strafe patterns like never before. Practicing air reactivity gives you an elite edge over the competition. However, the scenarios chosen for this playlist could be better. 3 out of 5. Bounce. This has elements of smoothness and reactivity, as well as your ability to read the bot's movement. Now, if you haven't trained this kind of thing, you're in for an eye-opening experience, and it might just be a missing link in your aim. If you're looking for that laser precision style aim, then this is definitely for you. Perfect for the medium class on the finals, which requires that really, really pinpoint tracking style aim. Basically, any accurate assault rifle will benefit from this training. So Soldier allowing you to perfectly track Ilyari and her jump ability, Junkrats and Genji. And lastly, the R301 from Apex was born for this kind of training because you can just perfectly beam people who are launching in the skies on jump, jump pads. Oh, it's just so, so good. Please practice these scenarios. And as I said, it's often the missing link in a lot of people's training. And when practiced, you get the most satisfying clips as well as being very useful across the board. Overall, I'd be a fool not to give Bounce 5 out of 5. Ascended Tracking Honestly, this should be renamed to Essential Tracking. You cannot go wrong practicing these scenarios. Apex players should abuse this, and Zarya benefits highly from this kind of tracking. There's also a target switch element that will help you flick from one player to another. I can't quite explain it, but these scenarios teach you just how little you have to move your mouse when tracking. It really upgraded my knowledge of how to track strafing enemies. It's a core skill, and once you start utilizing it, you're going to see just how effective it can be. Regardless of what game you play, this is a great tracking skill to learn. Enough said, 5 out of 5 stars for this one. Thin. Your basic smoothness training. Learn to hit every shot on a somewhat predictable moving target. If you saw any of those Warzone clips back in the day of people perfectly tracking someone in a moving vehicle, well, this is that. Also a needed skill in the finals as well as general use in Apex Legends. Good for tracking skinny characters in Overwatch like Kiriko, Ash and Widowmaker. Personally, I find it boring but there's no denying its use for developing a well-rounded tracking ability. Which is why I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. Dodge. Understand how to keep moving while landing shots on your opponent. Often underutilized in aim training but can be a great way to build mouse control while under fire. Personally. I prefer movement or dodge training in the actual game as I feel like it offers a better, more effective experience. For example, using workshop codes on Overwatch or Apex Aim Trainer. If you haven't got much experience playing this kind of thing, it might be shocking to see how much your aim can suffer when strafing. With that being said, it gets a 3 out of 5. Tracking God. It's called this because it really is that difficult. This scenario takes longer to complete than most as it offers multiple different types of bots to face against. In principle, this style of training could be very effective because your brain has to adapt in real time to its new challenge, similar to an in-game environment. However, from my experience, I learned through stubborn repetition of a task until that I feel my action has been drilled into my brain. If you're not the best at tracking, I would say this could actually mess you up because of how crazy and just intense it is. Give it a try, but if you're just utterly overwhelmed, avoid this until you've upgraded your tracking ability because it really is a mindfuck. 
probably best used for Apex as you have those insane WSD movement techs that are quite rare in other shooters. I like the premise, but unfortunately it's not executed very well. I'd be interested to see if more scenarios use this gauntlet style in the future as it could be the most optimal way to train, but I'll need more time playing it to really see its benefits. So right now it gets a safe 3 out of 5. The benchmark sheet is in the description so you can document your scores. I've personally edited the official playlist so that it's split up into each category. That way you can focus a little easier on what you want to practice. However, if you prefer it all lumped together, the original has also been linked. Lastly, I want to mention that the scoring is very difficult, so don't beat yourself up if you don't get the rank you initially thought you would. It took me some time, but I managed to get the overall rank of AOI, and it transformed my tracking aim. I know that with time and consistent practice, that you can do it too. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.